Okay, part three. Final, the final installment. Let's see. The back of LP. Down there we have the running track. The only thing I remember about the running track was Kerry Shemansky running a 10 200 yard dash in I think eighth grade. Who does that? I did 11 9. I thought that was fast. This baseball field, let me tell you a quick story. This baseball field, senior league. 1982, I had just started boxing and I wanted to box and I also wanted to play baseball because I wanted to play for the Red Sox. I was pretty good. I was on the all-star team. And on that pitcher's mound, Billy Kane pitched to me at that plate and he threw the ball so fast. Now I had hit a home run off of Billy a couple years earlier in Little League. Apparently he got a lot better because he pitched to me so fast I didn't even see the ball. I thought that, I didn't think he threw it. The only reason I knew he threw it is because I heard the catcher catch it. And he walked me with five or six pitches. And as I stood on that base right there, first base, I made up my mind that that was my last season as a baseball player and I, that was it, I quit. LP Wilson, behind LP, that neighborhood, Arrow, uh, what was it, uh, Longview Drive, Willow Crest, I think it was. Um, I know Regency Drive. I thought that was the best neighborhood. The Sponzos lived over there. Pam Gibson, right there at the end of that trail. Rest in peace. Ovis Armstrong, the Philatoffs, Michelle Savage, the Joneses. Karen Edlin lived right over behind those trees. I used to, Karen, I used to drive by your house and hope you were outside. I wasn't stalking you, I was just checking. Actually, I think I checked on a few people behind uh, LP. But Karen, Stacy Spencer lived over there, Stacy and Billy. All right, let's go. Um, and uh, another, another memorable spot right here. See this hill on the seventh grade on the last day of school? They used to do the uh, like a field day the last day, let the kids have fun. And uh, right there, right on that spot, I was running down this hill, having fun, you know. All of a sudden, I went stumbling, fumbling, falling down that hill. Somebody had tripped me. And I laid on the ground, I rolled over, I practically crashed. And I remember looking up. Garfield Virgo was standing over me. Him and the other boppers. What kind of name is boppers anyway? Boppers. Anyway, Garfield tripped me and he didn't look happy. I'll say that much. And I remember Cashier was there and Keith and Earl and Goonie Bird might have been there. Um. So, that wasn't fun, but I, to this day, that was 30 something years ago, to this day, if Garfield Virgo ever came to my boxing gym and wanted to try to box, I would be the first one to spar with him. I would volunteer, and I'd have a flashback. I never forgot that, Garfield Virgo, freaking guy, tripped me. Come on. This was the sign. This is the back of the science room. We used to play football back there. We used to play against the kids uh, from other neighborhoods. I actually have a picture. Come on, let's go. I have a picture, 1979, I guess. Me, 
standing outside the door here, getting ready to go home, and uh, Nisha Karaji was standing next to me, and uh, I had that, that 70s haircut, you know, like Leif Garrett and those guys. My hair was all bushy, and I don't know. Sometimes you look back at those fashions when you're a kid, and they, um, they don't seem as good. All right, let's go. We're leaving. Now, one more flashback. Because we were having a debate on uh, Facebook about which school was better, um, LP or, or uh, 